Hello and welcome back to our Rodina Rises Let's Play. Um, we did good in that last war. We're uh, we're hoping that Tver can uh, can win this war against Novgorod and take enough land so that we can take the rest of Novgorod in one war. Now we do have some liberty desire problems right now, and um, I'm worried that Lithuania is going to try and um, support the independence. So at the moment, I think it's Peskov who have the lowest opinion. No, it's Odiev. Mm. But you have a truce with me, so it's fine. Peskov, however, we need to... I think I'm probably placate you. Uh, Rostov, we can probably get by with increasing our relations. And who else? Perm. Mm, probably gonna have to just keep working on them. We have, we can get a royal marriage. That's nice. We'll uh, we'll do that. Right, you fucking love me. Now, just Rostov, we can get their opinion up. Odiev is truce. I think we're gonna be okay. So. Novgorodian separatists, we need to deal with those. Uh, so we'll give them, I think four units is what I looked at it before. They have 12k, so I would like ideally to have 16k actually. You have 9,000 infantry. I would, I'm giving you 2,000, give me one more thousand. And then give me like two more cav. Also the leader. We need to core Ryazan as well. I would love to lower the maintenance, save a bit of money, but can't really afford to right now. Let's mothball a few of these forts instead. Actually that one can stay on. Um, Odiev, we need to start improving relations with you. But Tver is still working on Novgorod. It's fine. Uh, let's bump it up to speed 5 while we just wait for some peace time. Actually, it might be time to improve our army a bit. This 6,000 inventory should do us just fine. Lower the, the relative strength of my vassals as well. Now let's see what that did to it. Yeah, everyone's looking pretty happy. Herm, I want to annex you. 54 is what I need to wait. That's... That's fine, we'll, we can wait for that. Lithuania being dicks, but I don't care. Oh, you are allied with Poland now, though. Oh no, that's bad. So I do it that way, raise it and then lower it, because there are certain, uh, like, peasants war. It can start if your stability is less than zero and manpower less than 25%. But to get it to go away takes more than just going into positive stability. So if you boost it and then take the hit, I think that's just a safer way of going about it. Uh, let's take reinforce speed. I love a manpower reinforcement speed guy. That would be ideal. Culture is looking pretty nice. It's a really big swathe of, of accepted cultures. Especially when we form Russia and we get all of that as accepted. Ooh. Ooh. Morale of armies, please. That'd be awesome. Uh, when are we teching up? Pretty soon, actually. 
unfortunately miles away from getting national ideas. Uh, Cossacks gain loyalty from money. Cossacks don't have any land, so I don't really care about them. And Ryzen has been cored. Very fucking nice. You're only at 1.4 now. I could probably get rid of that entirely, right? No, I could only get rid of another one. Thank you, Yaroslav, for being very nice to me with all of that shit. Almost 54. You're allied with Pascal, that means you want to rebel. God damn it. Stop, stop doing this. Just lose the prestige for now, I don't care. You sleep with whoever you want, you, you big whore. So, when does our truce with Novgorod run up? 64, so another 10 years. Um, there is a subjugate Kazan Casaspelli, or a mission, and I would love to get that, but we have to kill Novgorod first. Who now are not at war with Tver, so you didn't actually take any land from them. GG. You should you should have fucking conquered all of this. Like, what's wrong with you? Skov is happier with me. That's nice, and I no longer have any discontent vassals. Fucking lovely. When can I annex you? 11th of November. And we're gonna do that like immediately. There we go. Are you sure? Are you sure I can't do it? Thanks. And we're trying X. Who else? Rostov, maybe. Could do a Yaroslavl. A Yaroslavl. Wish I had another diplomat, then I could do more at once. Advisor cost down, that's nice. That's not from me though, is it? That's. Yeah, it's for my heir. Great Horde has rivaled me. I don't really care. Losing a ducat a month. Disgusting. So, I'm annexing you at how many points per month? Four per month. If my Diplo rep went down... I'd probably still be able to do it, so it's fine. Odiev has got high liberty desire again, that's unfortunate. Fucking whore of a woman. Watch my video get demonetized for saying that. <laughs> so... We could support the independence of Sweden. They love me right now. If we weaken Sweden, it'll be easier to conquer them later. This is not a period of great peace, this is a period of great... ...eating of the enemy. Of, of, the, of the friend. Eating the friends. Fucking plague measures in this game, holy shit. We must do something. 19 ducats. Done. Eventually. It's like, that's it. Whereas in Mayan Tax, it's like, oh no, there's a plague. Like, I've just lost 15% of my population. This will probably stop it because of, um, you won't be happy enough with me anymore. But we'll see. Now we have to wait another month, do we? 
Lovely. Now you've probably stopped. He uses one per month. That's fine. Can we get a Diplo rep guy? Uh, yes, but it cost me too much money. So that's a no. Alright, Rostov, you're next. My next vessel is minus 30. Is this paused because you're not happy with me? Nope, it's still going. Now, what do we want for our first idea group? So we're not using the uh, idea variation uh, mod because it's not been updated yet. But I'm thinking we stack our quantity kind of stuff. Maybe not as a first idea group, but certainly I want that. Or influence. Maybe should have waited until I took influence uh, before doing this so I could reduce the cost of integrations. Hmm. Oh well. No matter. Skov has high liberty desire again. Hmm. That's not going to work. Let's get you to 100. Sorry, to, to 190. And then we'll start in improving relations with Peskov as well. Yeah, you're only at 62, so we can, we can probably prevent this liberty desire from being above. Yeah, we just need to keep doing this. Opinion, trust, diplo rep. Yeah, our diplo rep is pretty terrible as well now. I can get patriarch authority that way, but that costs me legitimacy. Um, burgers, give me some diplo support. Thank you, vessels, you're very kind. Oh no! Oh well. Now I don't have an heir, and my ruler is 43. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> five, five, six. Oh yes. Alexander Rurikovich. Hello. You are banned from hunting. You will never go hunting. There's, there's nothing, nothing to hunt at all. Stay away from the hunting grounds. Right, Peskov, I just fucking saved your ass from the, the fucking, yeah, defend our provinces. That's what I just did. So you should be real happy with me. Love me. Still losing money, though. Oh, yeah, we have four men here. Is that putting us, oh, it's not putting us over. Um, but we can mothball this fort as well. Fifteen and three, twelve. Mm. So Ryazan is the one that's troubling me at the moment. So we'll go sit in Ryazan. And now it's not troubling me. Lovely. Bring our maintenance to there. See, vassals, you're, you, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be this unhappy with me. I need to remake Perm happy again. Otherwise, the annexation will cease. And Perm seems to be one of, if not my, yeah, they're like equal strongest with Peskov. So I need to make them happier. 
fucking Russian winter. Yeah. If I get rid of Perm, that's going to make everyone a hell of a lot happier because of the relative strength. Have you taken marketplaces yet? Oh, that'll be another thing that's hurting. Diplotech difference. Fuck, didn't even think of that. Keep you happy with me so I can integrate you. Diplo rep guy anymore? No, no, none of this is good. But holy shit, Lux Stella, I think I've got that maybe like three times. Oh shit, I didn't even think of this. Fuck yeah. So why is this one full and these aren't? Yes, so this is another thing all of the Russian people get. Um, you can... what are they even called? Russian abilities? Uh, we can reform the Sudabinik, which gives us uh, minus 10 autonomy in all provinces. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, let's take that. Money, 0.09. Money... Let's wait until the end of the month and we'll see. 0.17. Very nice. So does that go up again? I can use it again. I think it does. That's really, really cool. Novgorod versus Tver. Tver, Tver. You're in a trade league with Theodoro still. rebel problem has been thoroughly dealt with. We're just waiting for 64, I guess, before we can attack them again. Although Tver, make you hostile, and then I want this land. Maybe Rostov will uh, fabricate a claim on you. Holy shit, they just took it immediately. Lithuania is being dicks. Yeah, Tver is cleaning fucking Novgorod all the way up. Alright, Perm is pretty comfortable right now. Let's go back to Pskov. Prove relations with you once more. Is Novgorod's army trapped, or can they go through my vassal's land? I would imagine they can go through it. It's one thing to lose a war, it's another thing to lose a war that you started. Isn't that what they say? Go on, fight each other. See, if you were smart, you would fight each other. Still losing money, unfortunately. Still waiting for this bloody truce. I will take this. Better infantry, fuck yeah. I'll keep the Trusina cavalry, that's fine. Odiev, Liberty Desire is still pretty fucking high, but we do have Peskov happy with us again. 
Probably the relative power went down as soon as I took that military deck. Just fucking fight them, you've got a better army. You silly dickheads. Fight, 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 go up and fight this two stack. <sighs> there we go, good. Now go and fight this one. Ah, another Russian ability. Praise Streltsy. We can gain seven Streltsy peoples. Um, but it will put us over our force limit. So we're going to hold off on this. It was actually a closer fight than I imagined. Kazan versus Nagai. That's fine. Yeah, so we're going to hold off on this until we've uh, increased our force limit a bit. Truth with the North Guard is over. Raise the maintenance. And we're going to go to war with Novgorod, who now have... I can take them all in one war. Fucking beautiful. Theodore, I don't care. This is not their capital, so it doesn't really matter so much. Yeah, I mean, just vassals go ham. They just lost their entire army to, uh, to Tver, so fairly sure we can beat them pretty easily. Pop it down to speed 4, though. No use taking unnecessary risks, after all. No, don't want that. Get in on this fight, why not? Ugh, tiny bit of extra prestige and all that shit, you know? Very nice. Now we're just waiting for these uh, last two sieges to be done and we can gobble up the rest of Novgorod. We have plenty of admin points. We can, uh, we can core it all. It will hurt our Diplo rep, but it's fine. Ah, so I need to do new icons in Moscow, I think. No, no, I need to do new icons here. But I don't have the Patriarch Authority for it, so fuck that. All right, just see, just back to speed five. There we go. The war is one other than Theodoro. We'll work out how to get down there in, uh, in the next episode, but for now I'm going to take a small break. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.